I could go over to the Black Forest and see if I could grab um, some blueberries, maybe. Should we just leave them there? And I'll go to the Black Forest and see if I can find um, some blueberries. Give them another choice of uh, something to eat. Do they eat dandelions? Yeah, blunt weapons are a very quick way to tame them, I'm sure. It's funny, actually, you don't find any... Um, you don't find, like, wild carrots, do you? Oh, I guess you do, but you only get seeds from it. You don't get the actual carrots. What's this? Are we digging down? Or is that just a fire pit? I think it's just a camp, isn't it? It's just a fire pit. It takes them a while to calm back down. I would put a double layer of fencing to help with any attempts to escape. But again, that's arc experience talking. I think the fences are pretty solid. Like, they don't do enough damage to take them down quickly. Um, I guess... I wonder if I could surround the fence, though, with walls, and then maybe they won't see me. That's a possibility. We could try that. I'll try that when I get back there. I'm hoping that there will be some black forest over here, though. Like, this is Black Forest, so with a bit of luck, it'll head over towards us a little bit. Maybe they've not eaten enough. Maybe. Um, it could be that they require a few different types of food. Um, there's plenty of food in there. Yeah, it could be, say, they need three different types or something like that. I have a feeling the first time I did it, I did uh, berries, uh, mushrooms, and blueberries. We'll have to do some farming, get some carrots. Does anybody remember me saying on stream that I could hear a plastic bottle popping? Does anyone remember that? And I thought it was Stitch, my cat. Yeah? There's a plastic bottle on the floor next to me. <laughs> I didn't realize, but there's one on the floor next to me. <laughs> so it turns out the plastic bottle I thought I heard was a plastic bottle. Shock horror. I just heard it again then. And it, I bet it's it's the heating coming on here. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I frighten myself, guys. Like I know you think I'm stupid. And I would I would say nah. Nah. Oh. Oh. But sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe I am after all. How did that miss? You're wasting my flint arrows.
Do you reckon there's anything up here? I think this is too ruined, isn't it? At least we can get up this one. Yep, nothing up here. That fall damage, though. Black Forest, though, guys. We're in the Black Forest. Let's keep an eye out for copper. And at least I can mark that up. Come back for it another time. You messy git. <laughs> it's been there for a while as well. It only had water in it. Yeah, it's just a, it's a plastic bottle that I used to fill up with water. But now I have a, a different bottle that I use. I've just left it down there. I was kind of hoping that was a dungeon, by the way. Okay, I thought I had my bow on. That's tin, isn't it? Yep. Come on, there's got to be some copper here somewhere. I do need to keep an eye on the floor, though. That last deposit that I found was like this. I think I got a good couple of sneak attacks there. Tell me that isn't another troll. That sneak attack with the bow. Nailed it. Okay. I can now make my... My troll tape. Use the trolls for mining? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. I wouldn't want to risk it though. How much damage did he do to the building? I think he broke a couple of bricks, but it wasn't massive. It wasn't a huge amount of damage. You're not impressed with me remembering to use my legendary skill, though. <clears throat> my best bud wants to co-op some Stardew Valley. Go for it. I've played Stardew Valley a long time ago. Loved it. I think I just got distracted by another game, and it's something I've often thought of going back to. Um, so... Oh, I've seen one of these before. There's one of these pink things here in the forest down here, but I'm not sure what it is. I would guess it, it kind of looks like the ones you find in the burial chambers, so it could be a spawner of some sort. This Is this a dungeon? It is. It is a dungeon. But I do not have enough inventory space to be going in there. I only really came out here for, um, for blueberries. And we haven't found any yet. Copper? Not copper.
They one tap most stuff. Finally used my uh, my god skill, yeah. I finally remembered. Ooh. <gasps> There's another one. Oh god. I need him to swing at me. We're not getting anywhere right now. I wish headshots were a thing. They definitely one shot trees. Oh no. <laughs> I think I was about to get slapped. Alright, let's clear some of this out. I need some space. There's nothing I really want to get rid of, though, is the problem. What do you guys think about getting rid of these trophies? Hey, Barian. Yeah, Gamora. I have a very old memory of uh, a Dungeons & Dragons game. It was my first ever interaction with a computer game, I think. I was a kid visiting like my dad's friend's house and he had a Dungeons and Dragons game on what I assume was probably an Amiga or something like that um, and it was tile based I have no idea what it was called but um, I remember being gobsmacked by it as a kid absolutely fell in love with it um, but yeah no idea what it was and I'd love to um, be able to play that again <clears throat> Need a set of campfires um, to, to try and get them to walk through it. Still one stack just in case. Is this for the trophies? Sorry. I do have quite a few back at base, you see. Especially that one. Maybe keep this one. Oh, are you saying I could get make a stack of campfires and get the troll to walk through it? That's an interesting idea. If it swung at you, though, I think it would... Uh, it would destroy them all. Stamina. Okay. What is this building? Ooh. Oh, same one again. I've never seen one of those in the open world. What is this? I think there's anything up there? Oh, there's a chest here. Nice. Sneaky. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make fire arrows, uh, Gamora. I think you're, you're right there for sure on the... Uh... Oh, there was loot in there. Yeah, the fire arrows, I think, could um, be very useful. I think there's a lot of tin around here. Yeah, it's all over the place. But what is this thing? Ah, blueberries. Okay. This is a spawner, right? Some kind of spawner? Yeah. Do I want to destroy this? Or should I use this to farm materials? Like, can I get something from the spawner that I would want? Gone now. Yeah, there is nothing I want to throw away here. Right, let's throw the meat. We can always get more of that. Just constantly picking up more stuff that I don't want. An ancient seed. Is that what you get from it? Eat the food, clear space. You mean this food? I've already got some of those seeds. And I guess that's just normal wood, right? Okay, let's head back this way a little bit. What's up, Fraz? Welcome back. I take it there's not been any news yet. Guess we'll keep the ancient, ancient seed for now. Alright. Basically, I just want some blueberries now. Oh, there we go. There's one, two. Seen that before. I don't think I can deflect these guys yet. Pretty sure, yeah, you get ancient seeds from the brutes. Some balls in there. More blueberries. Yeah, let's take these back now and see if we can sort the balls out. It's quite a trip back to my home base though. So maybe from this end, see if I can um, put a portal down. That's carrots, isn't it? Um, perfect. 
Yeah, we got the seeds. Okay, where were the boars then? Up this way. Might be quite a nice place to build, actually, where these boars are. Water nearby as well. Nexus ha finally has a Valheim page. Wait, is this game moddable? Are you trying to make out now that that was a stupid question? Not every game is moddable, right? I'm pretty sure developers can make, uh, make games unmoddable. If they choose to. Have you ever seen a film called Troll Slayer? If you've never seen Troll Slayer, that's worth a watch. Um, can I do that? Let's see if that works. It's Danish? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's a good movie. Special effects are really good considering, like, I, you know, it's not a Hollywood blockbuster. It's very impressive. This whole uh, boar taming business is getting old real fast. Especially when like there's no clear way to do it. Okay, let's get some stuff put away for now. We need to keep hold of that. Um, anything I'm not going to use immediately, I guess. We'll try and get a fire down now and cook some food up. What else can I drop for now? All of those. I think one of the... Did this not have wood in it? No. Guess I launched it. Okay, let's grab some more. Is this game good? Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. He's good. Just farming the ones that spawn near us, yeah. It's th this whole taming thing is uh, a real pain in the ass, and I don't know whether it's it's just because we don't know how to do it exactly. Like it could be very you know bish bash bosh once you know how to do it. Oh, I played Ark on release Gamora. Yeah, it was it was taming dinosaurs took about twelve hours, and it was the most boring thing you could imagine. You just had to feed it, put berries on its body, and just stand there for hours, waiting for it to be tamed. Um, it was absolutely horrible. I remember doing it on stream, and streaming for a few hours, and then it got to the point where, like, I had to end my stream. And I'm pretty sure, like, it didn't save 
the fact that we were taming an animal. Because I think I rented a server for that, right? So when we had to log out, that was it. All the progress we'd made was, was done. That was it. It was awful. I remember my first encounter with a T-Rex in that game and it was terrifying. <laughs> Being chased down to the beach by a T-Rex. What's up, Drash? Uh, I heard a T-Rex took meat and it uh, only took off like 5 to 30 minutes off said timer. I don't remember exactly the first, because uh, obviously I don't think, I don't think I ever got to taming a T-Rex before um, stopping playing Ark. Like, as much as I liked the idea of that game, the optimization when it first came out um, was just absolutely horrendous. They build it as this beautiful game. And you needed... I don't think there was a computer in existence that could run that game back then at on Mac settings. I believe these days it's obviously a lot, lot better. And computers now could probably run it on Mac settings, no problem. Uh, Atlas was shocking. I remember watching live streamers um, that were like getting ready to stream that game on launch and they were all so excited for it and it was being billed as this big huge open world pirate game with big huge sea monsters and you know all this kind of stuff and oh my god was that game trash when it launched. Holy mother of... I don't know how they got away with it. Put it this way, you saw what happened to Cyberpunk 2077, right? And Atlas. <laughs> that was even worse. I don't know what that game's like now either, but... Uh, it was shocking when it launched. Seven Days to Die runs pretty well. These days it does anyway. Um, yeah, but yeah, they just need to get that game finished. But honestly, I, I just... I don't feel like uh, I really bothered about finishing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Seven Days to Die is a, weird, is a weird one. There's absolutely no justification for that game still being in development. It should have been finished long ago. <clears throat> Especially with the money it's made. What's, uh, what I played a lot of Ake. I, what's that? Aki Island? Is that the name of it, Demon? See, the hearts went yellow then, but why? And now they've gone. There was a point yesterday where I was taming the boars and the hearts went yellow. Um, it went completely yellow. I don't know why. Are they getting more yellow? I can't tell. Oh, sorry, you played a lot of, of Ark and had no problems. Um, yeah, but since when, Demon? Everybody had problems at launch, so you can't pretend it was perfect back then. Ark was shocking at launch. You don't need to stand near them like that. So what do I do with them then? See, now the hearts have gone yellow, look. Maybe I'm too close to them.
Just go do something um, you want to do near them. Yeah, I think I'm, maybe I'm too close to them. Um. Okay. Um, we can do that. Let's clear a bit of this away. 